main event. That's what happened. Seconds till we're back, everybody. Tons of energy coming back out of the yes, commercial yes, break. Yes, new day yes. in the ring, and they're waiting oh. on Bobby Lashley and MVP. Coming back in eight, seven, six. Tons of energy coming back out of commercial break. Yes. Three, two, one. Here we go. It is May Let's see that energy out yeah, there. New rock. day. New action. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see, maybe that might be better. Oh, gotta watch the beverage. Yes, hello, folks. Welcome back for I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. Wait a second. This isn't wrestling shirt. You know what? I was so semi disgusted at WWE Raw tonight. I refuse to wear a wrestling t shirt. And in fact, oh, I'll, I'll give you that news later. You can actually see me, Hobo Tom. This Wednesday up in Jacksonville. I'll leave a little note about that. You can say hi. Give me a shout out. I have the camera charging. I have the book of notes. I'll be with Twisted Pixie. I might get her opinion about a couple things. So yeah, it should be interesting. But that's later. This is now. Always focus on the on now. Always to the future you look. Mm. Not the way of the Jedi this is. Well, actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I guess I picked up the sniffles from somewhere. And no, I'm not like Seth Rollins. I didn't get COVID from someone. It's the sniffles. I don't, I don't pay attention to the sniffles. You know what? It's winter time. I'm surprised I've had as few sniffles as I had. Although, to be fair, I think for like a few days I had like the COVID-19. And I just said... Ugh, I'm gonna beat this stuff on my own. Yeah, again, I was uh, my Metallica crow shirt on. See this for the concert for me. <clears throat> Rockville. I'll be keeping you people updated more on that. Um, enough about this. I have no thank yous to give out. No shout outs for a rare change. Sunny Bimbo, you're always there though. But you're already in the Daytona Beach Bonfight League. <coughs> Actually, I can tell it's a cold because it went from, like, my throat, where it just was, like, mucusy. Now that's my nose that's runny. So then it kind of goes up, then out, and I'll be all strong again. Honestly, because I work with the public so much, I'm surprised I haven't been sick more the past couple of years. And I'll tell you what, if I can get up out of bed, if I can do this show, I can go to work. And that means COVID or not, I'm working. Because, unlike President Biden said, and after I go on my political rant, that'll be the end of it. If you really want to ban people from going to work, you know how many people are not going to get their shot and lose their jobs? The economy is going to go... <laughs> because God knows I can work at home. I, I have some degrees up there. I have that option to work at home for two of my jobs, hopefully. So, it's just one of those things... Where if that goes to like a shutdown again, I'm done. I'll find another job. I don't care. Not being bounced around like it like a hiney hole. I might be gone. Depending on stuff. Sooner or later. Honestly, the one boss, the one assistant boss, is a forty four foot boat. I just wanna go fishing again. Only reason I'm sticking around for right now. If not, I might have been gone a while ago. And if we don't go fishing in January. Yeah. I'm on it pretty quickly. Enough about this. Let's talk about some Monday Night Raw, which was interesting. Um, there were rumors and stuff. Nah. And Seth has, has the COVID. I don't know, COVID-21 or whatever you want to call it. Omicron. I don't know what's going to be next. Can't be Omega, because that's the last strand of it. They'd have to have to call it something new. It'll be interesting. I know they've had Lambda, Delta, Lambda, now Omicron. 
I don't know enough of my Greek. Phi, theta, pi, zeta, epsilon. Can't be alpha, beta, phi, pi, mu, nu. Ah, getting way too complex. But yeah. Now, this, uh, so now they've reduced it to a five day wait. She tells me what I think I've said in the past where it's becoming more virulent but less intense, which means, or it's not, uh, it's becoming more communicable, less vir less virulent. Listen, l l look at all those books that are on the shelf I have. Library of Tom. Biology books. Any biologist will tell you, yeah, this is a virus running its course through a population. Oh, well. Rabies. All the other viruses do the same thing. So... People are shocked it's happened to people. Some people are shocked that it hasn't happened as quickly. Other, when I worked at the one Christian school, God, that was such a trip. I only miss, I think, the, I think the one person was kind of real. I only miss the one because she was absolutely goofy, but had blonde hair, big ass, and tits. So yeah, I can say that now, tits. Um, they, I think one of the prayers was, oh, God, protect us from this from this emerging virus for the end of days are upon us. And I'm just like, they're like, they, oh, God. I'm never drinking the Kool-Aid here. I already put up a video about that. So yeah, I'm done now. Boom goes the time right now. I'm done. End of video. No, no, no. Unfortunately, you guys are stuck here for 20 more minutes. So let's talk about some Monday Night Raw action. Um, Randy Orton, and I will have occasional... <laughs> Ouch! That broke the sound, sound barrier really quick. Yeah, you might see a couple of those. Again, it's going from my throat to my nose. Things still taste good. Although again, I've had this debate with my boss. I say the one thing smells like lemons. She says it smells like orange creamsicle. Are you both right because it's a citrus smell? And if you're someone who's never had pork, how do I describe the most delicious taste of bacon to you? That'll be a conversation if tomorrow's kind of slow. No, it's really time to get to Raw. So we had a Randy Orton recap. The Alpha Academy, that was pretty good. Riddle's there. I don't know. He's doing his drug references again. I'm the highest power there is, man. They're in Detroit. Detroit was a dead crowd. I don't know. Maybe because the writers were like saying, hey. See, the good promos were good. The bad promos were god awful. And I think it was a case of the writers said, hey, we can't do any of this. Kevin Owens, just go out there and give us a promo. Kevin Owens can give a good promo. Um, I don't think Matt Riddle can give a good promo. Randy Orton could. I don't think Riddle could. I don't think Gable or Otis could. Other than Taki, 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 tag me in, steaks and weights, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, Taki. I miss Tucker Knight. I still have no reason why they broke up. Heavy machinery, they were so good. Never got a belt run either. That's enough of that. So, um, yeah, so then you have Gable and Otis coming up. Alpha Academy shows up. First match is G Gable versus Matt Riddle. Chad Gable versus Matt Riddle. Very good technical start. I do like that. Gable did the alligator roll a couple times. Matt, again, he shows more of his um, mixed martial arts where he does more striking. Again, Chad Gable, great ground wrestler, hit the tiger suplex. Um, there was a near rolling suplex. That looked amazing. However, Matt Riddle hit the Blind bro, man. Um, he picked up the win. Fairly quick match after about only a really 10 minute interlude to the match. I'll tell you what. I can't complain about it. Maybe I'm poo-pooing this too much. Who knows. Solid cheeseburger match. Let's see here. Then Randy Orton took on Otis. I think I was just going to put away dinner and stuff. Or actually have dinner. Um, good match, Otis 
He just seemed too big, too much of the big powerhouse for even a Randy Orton to deal with. Uh, Randy Orton tried four times to get the RKO in. A bunch of times Otis blocked it. Uh, Otis had a big power slam. And you're like, oh no. Is Randy Orton actually going to be do this? This will be akin almost to Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant. Or Yokozuna's body slam challenge that that <laughs> Lex Luger won that no one cared about. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even win the title. But he acted, he acted like he did. That was years ago. USS, I think Intrepid. If, I forget if it was Intrepid or Enterprise. I want to say Intrepid. My memory could be fuzzy, though. But yeah. Um, eventually, the fourth RKO. Four... Bye. Oh no, that's a wrong promotion. Well, we'll see what happens later in the show. Uh, the fourth one, oh, again, Matt Riddle says he has no neck. How can you possibly RKO him? Eventually, Randy Orton will RKO you. That was great. And then, good solid match. It was fun. The good teases there. Cheeseburger match. And then, I want to give you a hug, man. So Randy Orton went to hug him. And then he teased the RKO. He's like, nah, I'm just playing with you. He broke a smile. They hugged again. Hug it out. <laughs> the best friends. Jeez. Do not go the way of the best friends. Although, when it's just Chuck Taylor and um Trent Beretta. Wow, I'm surprised I remember all this stuff. That's kind of fun. Oh, and Orange Cassidy joined the joined the group and he joined Chaos. And now he's a Kentucky gentleman. Yeah. Stick to what you do best, folks. Oh yeah, I want to say hi to Matt. Saw the sign. Yep. Big Daddy Steve. I saw you there in the audience too. Uh, Kevin Owens got interviewed. Great interview. Great great shoot interview. Biggie does an interview from home. COVID-19. Who knows? Then we had Dana Brooke and Reggie taking on R-Truth and Tamina. And they did this almost like a stand-up tag team match because they didn't know what to do. Um, Reggie and R-Truth kind of start. That was pretty good. Reggie can take a bump. Reggie's learning stuff. Bravo, Reggie. Welcome to the world of being a pro wrestler. You can take a bump now. Uh, take a pretty good bump, too. Got a body slam in. Uh, he can also do some moves. He did his elbow. Very basic, simple match. All Dana did really did was kicks. And this whole match just did not... Then there was that weird ending. It just didn't seem smooth. And I know it's a wrestling match. It's supposed to be a sporting competition. It just didn't, something was just missing. They're, they're like, hey, you four go out there and have a match. Figure it out on the fly. Reggie's like, huh? What? Where's the script? And Brooke's like, um, I've heard people do this before. To me, it's like, yeah, my dad did this a long time ago. And our truth is like, yeah, I'm just going to sing a lot. So that's honestly probably what happened. The end of match stuff was better. Dana Brooke and Reginald win. Uh, really didn't do anything. A 24-7 belt. Kind of getting old. Dana Brooke does have big boobies. To me, it's pretty hot looking, too. But I'll tell you what. It's a piece of toast. Then, uh, Nikki Craw... Nikki... Ah, uh, Nikki A.S.H. They, they have to get rid of Nikki A.S.H. I'm so sorry, Nikki... ASH has to go back to NXT, get beat up by Toxic Attraction, and become Nikki Glenn Cross again. Only way to save that character. Yeah, it's <laughs> not happening. She still has her cute body, but it just looks kitty cartoonish. Not even adult cartoonish. Or young adult cartoonish. 
Like, you can say X-Men, not necessarily kid cartoons, not necessarily adult content. This is a nice, like, teenage to young adult cartoon. SpongeBob SquarePants kitty cartoon. That's what that's what Nikki Gl Nikki Nikki ASH is. Um, Nikki Glenn Cross, she's just all adult material, though, folks. But yeah, she has to get bumped back up, and the only way to do that is to take on, I think, go back to NXT, do a reboot of her, have her fight Toxic Attraction, do something. It's just not working, and the crowd's not feeling it. Then we have the Street Profits taking on the Mysterios. Uh, the Street Profits, oh, I'll tell you what, they can keep up pace for pace with the Mysterios. Rey Mysterio hasn't lost a step. Yeah, he's getting old. If Rey Mysterio lost a step, he'd still be two steps quicker than most of the WWE Universe. It's really hard to say. I think the only time I saw him lose a step or two was when he was in Lucha Underground. And when he was with um, Dragon S, Tekka Jr., Prince Puma, Johnny Mundo. Yeah, there he lost the step. I think even uh, Rey Mysterio versus Johnny Mundo, you could tell he, he lost that step. This is Johnny Mundo we're talking about. But I am still so upset that I'm going to miss Ray D. Reyes on this. Oh, Johnny Mundo. Take on Ijo Del Vikingo for the Mega Championship. He might actually win that. I will be doing a. a Video on that though, and maybe Sunday I'll try to catch up on it. Who knows? Watch the highlights of it. God, they probably start cursing. Wardrobe malfunctions for the women left and right. Mickey James loses everything. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, this match itself though, um, the Serios uh, they do great double teamwork. Uh, Dominic's getting a little too pushy. He tried to do a standing SDS. He didn't seem to catch it all the way. The standing slice, or it was either that or it's like a standing slice bread. It actually looked pretty cool. It's like, whoa, but who got the worst of that? Looks like he just took a, took a fall the wrong way. Ray is so good. Even when things are bad, Ray Mysterio has like the ability, like he can switch his body position like midair. Freaking amazing, folks. What was it? Dawkins has that suplex neck breaker. That's great. Ford, he had the splash from like three quarters away from his corner. Amazing. That was the kick out though. Ford kicked out of the frog splash. Then there was like a super blockbuster done on poor Dominic. <laughs> I'll tell you what. This was probably the match of the night. This was a... Surf and Turf match. Street Profits win. Surf and Turf match. And all throughout the night, they're teasing the Miz doing the wedding vows. You know something's going to happen. Carmella did an interview. We were just like crap posting on Carmella. Carmella has to go into porn. We want to see Carmella leaks. Carmella likes golden showers. Um, Carmella likes, likes pearl necklaces. Yeah, nothing could happen. AJ Styles came out to do a promo. Grace and Walla. Grace and Walla, you don't deserve to be on WWE Raw. You stupid Aussie. Grace and Walla are for an Australian. Besides the, the Iconics. is like the only Australian to really be on WWE TV. And this is remembering that there was TM61 way back in the day. Let's see here. Um, what's that next? Give me two seconds, folks. Let me find something. It's going to keep on going because, well, it's not, I won't be done long enough. And I don't feel like doing that. Rice and water. There we go. There we go. I had to clear up the old nasal passages. That's why I'm sniffling so much. And tomorrow I get to eat the deliciousness. My coleslaw. Yeah, because that is my Metallica shirt. And I think I just broke everything. So, yeah. Um, so, this is going to be kind of funky for a little bit. 
Let's see, what was I? Oh, yeah. So then AJ Styles, best promo ever. Apollo Crews is so good. At least he still is Sergeant Aziz. I refuse to call him Commander Aziz because he has his Sergeant Stripes on. So it was AJ Styles taking on Apollo Crews. Really good technical match. AJ Styles actually wins because he hits a Styles Clash. It looks like AJ almost killed himself trying to get Paul Cruz up there. Again, this is one of those matches that felt like they did on the fly. Uh, Cruz did a great press slam onto the apron. Um, AJ Styles, again, so good. The Pele kick. The moonsault DDT off the second rope. AJ Styles is so good. Nothing bad I can say about him. Again, AJ and Cruz go back and forth. And then that was like the weakest Styles Clash ever. Um, he does get the pinfall. AJ Styles wins, which is right. Hits Commander Z's with the phenomenal forearm. Hey, AJ Styles. <coughs> there we go. It's getting all set for Omos at day one. Thursday, I'll probably get that video up. Or that video will be up Friday. New Year's Eve with um, a couple other videos. And I'll give some news and notes soon. Yeah, this match, I'll tell you what. AJ Styles, again, just like Rey Mysterio can save anything. Surf and turf match. Let's see, then was Kevin Owens and MVP. Did a promo. The, the rest of the Hurt Business comes out. So we have our next match, Kevin Owens versus Cedric Alexander. Cedric Alexander clothesline KO on, on the apron. KO with a great shoulder breaker. And honestly, I don't know what happened then because I was having streaming issues. I will say Kevin Owens wins. That sounds probably about right. That's a Kevin Owens match. Cheeseburger. Uh, yeah, cheeseburger match. And it was a little thing about Liv and Becky. This felt like pure filler. Like, if Seth wasn't out with COVID, this would not have been there. So, yeah. This was like pure filler stuff. Liz has a... Liv Morgan has a bedazzled face. Becky Lynch is... Who won the Battle of the Mommies? Oh, that's right. Ronda Rousey won the Battle of the Mommies. Yeah, and check out the Daytona Beach Fun Fight League. Somehow, I, I found the funds to... Pay Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey to have a match in the Battle of the Mommies. Battle of the MILFs. Way too skinny MILF. Although Ronda Rousey's now looking like normal size. Becky Lynch is still way too thin. Especially after having a kid. She got smaller after having a kid. How do you freaking do that, folks? Then we get to Dolph Ziggler versus Damian Priest. Um, Priest is a little too strong for Dolph Ziggler. But Priest goes into the barricade. However, Dolph goes over said barricade. We get back in the ring, I guess, sometime during the break. Damian Priest has that leg lariat of his. Oh, wow. Those are not pearls, folks. <coughs> yeah, that, though. No, I don't have anything else. This old, gray, old man gray. But yeah, um, what was I going to say? Yeah, Ziggler did that new roll-up. However, they went to the corner. Damian Priest just decided to, to beat him down. But the ref's saying one, two. Hey, hey, hey listen, I, I'm at three. Okay, I'm going to four. Okay, listen, I'm coming for four seconds. If I hit five, I have to disqualify you. Okay, you have to break it up. Come on, break it up, break it up. Five. I have to. You lose, Damien. Damien Priest. Dolph Sluger wins again by, by DQ. At this point, the crowd's just like utterly dead. I just like this. This was a ham sandwich. Then we have the renewal of vows between Miz and Maurice. Maurice has big, sagging mommy boobies, which are always good. 
Um, the Detroit crowd, crowd just booed her. <laughs> Boo! You're supposed to boo the Miz. You're not supposed to boo the Miz's hot wife. What's wrong with you, morons up in Detroit? Just because the Lions lose consistently doesn't mean you're sour all the time. But then yeah, uh, Eric Bischoff was there. Wait a second, Eric Bischoff can't be there. He, he's in AEW. Oh, he's he's playing both sides of the playing both sides of the fence for a few dollars more. Yeah, a few dollars more. Was it a fistful? Yeah, yeah, for a few dollars more. Clinton Cruz was one one side, and then he works the other side, and he gets paid by both. Yeah, that's terrible. Eric Bischoff just goes completely rogue, does whatever he wants for money. Then Ed shows up, and there is no bloodbath. It's it's like a black liquid bath, which was weird, because they're like, yeah, this is a white wedding. I'm like, oh god. I'm like, I'm like, oh, getting excited. They have the red lights coming on. Gang girl's gonna show up. It's gonna be a bloodbath. And black brown stuff comes from the ceiling. I don't know. It's just weird. Yeah, and then of course the Miz sloshes around. Maurice is upset. Miz little like Miz like literally like wipes some of it on Maurice because it, it almost entirely hit the Miz. Maurice got a little splash until like the Miz dragged her into it. And that was raw. So yeah. Um, you almost could have missed it. It'll be interesting to see what they do day one. Let's get to the rest of the week in review for, for the next 45 seconds. Um, this video is going up tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. Tuesday, I'll be doing a live stream for NXT. What's going on there? Jacksonville. I'm going to be live in Jacksonville. You can see the one, the only hobo Tom. If you want your video shout out, find me. I'll probably be wearing my Young Buck shirt. I'll be that fat bastard up there in the balcony all by himself. With, with a woman friend. Because... I don't know. The tickets are expensive. I'm going to get the cheap tickets in, like, the back of the lower bowl and then just eventually go, like, the front of the top bowl, which is more expensive for some reason. But yet, better view. Thursday, there's no video. I have to work late. I will be posting up videos of what I saw at AEW and my predictions for day one. I'll be probably going up Friday. Friday. <coughs> I'll be doing two videos and my... I don't even know if I'm going to be doing SmackDown. I have to see what SmackDown's like. And then AEW, Rampage. Well, actually, I probably won't be doing any videos Friday. Oh, no, I am. The Daytona Beach Bum Fight. New Year's Evil. Or even AEW New Year's Evil. I don't know. One of the two. And then Sunday's going to be day one. And that's it. So, again, you can see this guy, the one... The only hobo Tom at Jacksonville. I plan to be there at 6 o'clock. I'm not going to wait as long and, and hope for good things to happen. I'm going to be proactive and get stuff done for a change. So yeah, you can see me there at 6 o'clock. If you want to, give you a video shout out. Just find me and say, hey, that fat bastard hobo Tom. You know what, I just want my damn shout out video. Be like, okay, here, say something. Say something, jackass. Yeah, you'll get your shout-out video. What, 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 what name do you want to use? Ted. Thank you, Ted. Say, so, hey, you with the, with the big boobies and, the, and the high-cut shorts. Yeah. She, she's just a friend. I'm single, okay? I'll, I'll give you a shout-out or two. What's your phone number and address? And when can I stop by Friday night? Oh, oh, you guys don't need to hear that. Hear yeah, that or allergies. It's been dry and like good growing season time stuff. Who knows? But I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And this video will actually be up on time soon. Bye.